What's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video game review. Today we're discussing Spider-Man for the PS4. Game just came out. I'm loving it. I hope you guys are loving it too, but maybe you haven't picked it up yet. And maybe you stumbled upon this review wondering, should I pick up this game? Well, my first answer to you is yes, you need to get this game. Now, if you need a little bit more convincing, that's what this review is for. First, I've been planning on doing more video game reviews and content on this channel, and I'm so happy that I get to start with Spider-Man because Spider-Man for the PS4 touched me in a lot of different ways and not types of when you're touching yourself types of ways, but some of the stuff where it really affected me. And we'll get into that. A lot of that's with the story. One of the things I do want to touch on first before we get into it, a lot of my pros is my nitpicks. Um, some of my nitpicks can be with the combat and some of the boss battles feeling a little bit repetitive. Um, just in a sense, it never gets boring in a sense where you're bored, but it can be a little bit too easy once you get the hang of it. Now the game is tough beforehand. I think this game is very tough at times. It's not one of the easiest games I've played, but when you do get the hand of the combat, I felt like it just got a little bit too simplified and I would have liked a little bit more from it. Besides that, let me tell you guys about my big pros. Those are really just my nitpicks, but one of the big things I'm sure you guys are wondering is how is the web slinging? How is swinging around New York City? It's spectacular. It's ultimate and it's amazing. Yes, I just did some spider swinging stuff. And yeah, it's webtastic. Yes, I'm done with my puns now from Spider-Man, but it really is perfect. I, I cannot express enough how much I love the web slinging. I, I never used fast travel in here. I used it once when it made me, but besides that, I love swinging around New York City, exploring it, finding all the little different Easter eggs in here, especially the collectibles. I'm not a collectibles guy. Get these backpacks. And when you find them, it opens up a different piece because obviously this takes place eight years in the down the road after Peter's through college, after Peter's through high school. He's a, he has a job, he has a relationship that's kind of falling. He has to deal with balancing between Peter Parker and Spider-Man, which is something that we see in the movies, but the movies touch on it and touch on it in a very good way, but I feel like this is the best interpretation of it. But again, going back to the collectibles, the collectibles are unique because you pick up a backpack and it might have a business card from say Murdoch. And you might know who Murdoch is, if you guys know that's an Easter egg, but they have little Easter eggs in here with that where you pick up different type of backpacks and it's memorabilia through the world where it fleshes out the world, where it fleshes out Spider-Man's character. And there's so many Easter eggs like that where it fleshes it out in a very unique way where I was sitting there going, man, I want to explore this world even more. And that's where I really hope that we get a sequel and it, that even some add-ons to hold me over because man, I cannot wait for this game sequel, especially with the story in here. The story is a 20 hour story around so that's where it took me a long to beat it. But the story again you play as Peter Parker and Spider-Man it's in such a unique light that you understand who he is and what he is and balancing his life going to his job worrying about eviction notices worrying about your relationship crumbling with MJ it all works in a fashionable light and it at by the end of the game it got very emotional in such a unique way that I was so impressed with how this game worked in that because I always thought in the beginning of the year, God of War is going to win game of the year. Hands down, best story, best gameplay, and it still has the best gameplay in my opinion. Iron Man's kind of tied for my favorite story being told this year. I got, again, very emotional and kind of almost cried towards the end. Maybe. You guys will see when, I, when you see it, but it, it's really just a payoff at the end, and I love that part of this game. All the side characters in here really much are placed in here and perfectly none of them fill shoe in. Mary Jane's a wonderful, charming girl. You get to play as her in some stealth sections that could have been a little bit better, but never dragged out. They were always short enough to the point where you got through them. And you also get to learn about Miles Morales in here, who again, I was worried he was going to be shooing him when showing him the trailer, but no, he works perfectly. He's not just an Easter egg, he is particularly good to the story and is needed for the story to be essential. Again, maybe you could take them out and maybe change around through things and everything would be the same, but it was a nice fleshing out thing for the world again. Overall, Spider-Man the game is perfect. It's probably, I would even go as far as say, one of the best superhero games ever made, right up there with Arkham City. Even better, maybe I gotta sit back on this and think about it. Let's said, I'm gonna give Spider-Man the game a 9 out of 10. Absolutely love this game, cannot wait to replay it. I'm almost done with 100% completion with all the trophies and everything other that sense. The game's so open world, it's so, so much stuff to do, so much stuff, so many side quests, so many side missions, so many side crimes. I love this game, I cannot wait to get your guys' feedback on this. Tell me guys, have you guys played this game yet? Have you picked it up? Do you plan on picking it up? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. And of course, if you guys are new here, hit up Sandwich on Films right down there, because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens and also check out some movie news and also some movie reviews. But guys, of course, until next time, y'all stay classy.